This is the BBC. This podcast is supported by advertising outside the UK. BBC Sounds. Music, radio, podcasts. You're listening to Wednesday's episode of The Archers from BBC Radio 4. And then Iris brushed Leonard's knee by mistake. If it was a mistake. Well, quite. And I definitely heard her offering Leonard a cheeky glimpse of a bonsai. (laughs) David, stop it. (laughs) I might be on the mend, but my ribs still can't handle laughing. (laughs) Oh, here's the man himself. Afternoon. How are you both today? Yeah, we're fine. Come on, sit down. Oh. I actually dropped by to see if Jill fancies a ride out. She's not been answering my texts. She's at Peggy's. Maybe she turned her phone off. But, no, stay for a a coffee now you're here. I've just made a pot. Oh, thanks. How's the elbow, Ruth? Getting there. I can do some gentle moving and lifting. But I still can't seem to shift this tiredness. It's early to bed for me again tonight. Mm. And you're looking better, David. But uh, don't let Jill see you on that laptop. (laughs) Why do you think I'm doing it while she's safely out of the way? (laughs) Are you researching bigger and better tractors? (laughs) Actually, no. (laughs) Not this time. No, I'm looking into virtual fences. Virtual fences, Mm -hmm. whatever next. (laughs) I was sorry to miss Iris yesterday. Yeah, she's a really nice woman. Oh, did you see she left her jacket behind? I hung it up on the banister. I'll get one of the kids to drop it into Vince at the market. They've got enough on their place. I've got to go out that way this afternoon. It'll give me a chance to look at that Japanese white pine she has. I'm not sure Jill will think much of that. What do you mean? She claims you never once mentioned bonsai trees until Iris started talking about them. And she thinks I... Oh, no. How embarrassing. I feel terrible. I don't know where the day went. How was it already dark? Come on, girls. That's it. Look at this lovely, cosy bar. This way. Go Careful on. now. Well, they're looking all right. A bit bedraggled. They'll soon dry out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, babe. She's gone down. Oh, come on, girl. Come on. Come on. Up you get. Up you get. On your feet. Oh. <laughs> girl. She slipped. You think she's all right? Um. No, no, look at that. Look at the hip. She's all out of shape. Oh, come on, girl. Come on. She's definitely limping. Yeah, Yeah, not putting her foot down at all, dragging it. I think she's really hurt herself. We need Alistair here. Um, Have you got your phone? Uh, Yeah. Uh, Can you put it on speaker? You're all right, girl. You're all right. Well, at least she stood up. If she'd have stayed down... I know. Hi, Josh. Uh, Alistair, it's Pip. Thank goodness. Um, how quickly can you get here? We've got a cow in real trouble. Well, Elizabeth should be here soon. Uh, I have to warn you, Shula, she has found some old game in the attic that she's insisting we play. Oh, great. Elizabeth and me against the two of you, then. Not fair. We won't stand a chance. Why? Because Elizabeth and I are the more talented, intelligent siblings. No, because you're ruthless. You'd rather fight to the death than lose a board game. I'll be on your team, Kenton. Girls against boys. And what about Ruth? Oh, she fell asleep reading to Rosie. I thought I'd leave her. She's tired all the time. Poor Ruth. Oh, and I heard about that crash. It made me think about Mark. Yeah, of course. I do know that we were lucky. Do you mind if I open the bickies? I didn't get a chance to have any dinner. <laughs> I thought you publicans got dry January off. Mm-hmm. No, not when Jolene's made a list a mile long of things to get done. We've hardly stopped. You know, stop taking accounts, deep cleaning, forward planning. Oh, I'd give anything to have an excuse to laze around for a few days like you, Dave. Uh, Kenton, you don't mean that. That's a terrible thing to say. Look at him. A few knocks and he gets to lounge in front of the fire with his feet up. <laughs> Oh, 
I thought it would kill me to be stuck inside, but honestly, it's Ruth who's really struggled with it. So you've got an eye on retirement then, little bro? Not at all. I can't wait to get back out there. But maybe it's worth remembering the day-to-day -day stuff won't grind to a halt if I step back every now and again. Might be a chance to think bigger, you know, look at projects I keep pushing to the side. All right, the good news is I don't think anything's broken, oh. but since I can't x-ray a cow, I can't completely rule out a fractured pelvis. It is definitely dislocated, and if we manage to get her hip back in okay, you'll have to watch her like a hawk when labour starts. She could need a caesarean. Well, let's hope not. Um, and you said this sedative might be a problem? Yeah, there might be complications with a sedative this close to carving. Could act on the uterus, cause her to abort. But we didn't really have any choice, Pip. No, no, with the dislocation we have to move quickly. There's already swelling. We need to get it back in as quickly as possible. OK, just tell us what to do. OK, well, we've got the sedative into her. How long will it take to work? About 15 minutes, so not long now. Right, so once she's ready, we've got to work fast. Absolutely. I'm glad we got her in here, away from the others. Oh, me too. Ah. Oh, that's good. She's going down onto her belly. Oh, down you go. Good girl. Great. Now, we'll need to push her onto her side. Josh, can you hold her head down? <clears throat> like this? Yep, that's great. And Pip... You push with me on this side to get her over. Okay. Uh, there she goes. That's it. Oh. Okay. Right, now can you just uh, pass me my stethoscope from my bag, Pip? Yeah. Now she's in a good position. I can check whether the problem is the hip. Thanks. Uh, while I'm checking her heart rate, can you gently move her leg, Josh? Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's the bone crunching. Do you think you'll be able to get it back into place? Well, that's the hope. If not, you do understand. We'll have to euthanise. And lose the calf too. Well, it might be possible to save the calf first with a caesarean, but it's unlikely. It's a bit too early for that. Right. Pip, I'll do everything I can to save both of them, but I can't make any promises. Right, it says here everyone needs some plasticine. Oh, thank goodness for Rosie's Plasticine Pizza Factory. <laughs> I never thought to check if the original pots had dried up. And you last played this when? Um, I can't really remember. Nigel got it as a last-minute present for Freddie and Lily. They must have been, what, six or seven, I guess. It ended up being the best thing about Christmas that year. <laughs> we played it lots, and then it got stuck up in the attic. I remember the Christmas when Pip got Twister. Oh, goodness, that brings back memories. Mm. And what about the year you got mousetrap, David? Okay. I was so... Hey, no, no, stop, stop, stop. No more nostalgia. <laughs> uh, come on. We're way too youthful to spend every get-together trotting out I remember whens. <gasps> We're the generation that claims every decade as our own. <laughs> we made being 40 cool, and then 50, now... Stop! <laughs> stop! No need to remind us how old we're getting. Right. Here, Elizabeth, you can have red. Hmm? Yellow for you, David. You. And Kenton. Hmm? I'm afraid your plasticine is brownish grey. Oh, no, no, no. Well, why can't I have the lime green and you have the brownish oh. green? Oh, give him the green, Shula, so he shuts up. We don't need fancy colours to take the crown. <laughs> hey, 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 remember, my teammate has been involved in a very serious accident. Oh, already making excuses, hey? Sounds like a man who's ready to accept defeat. Oh, no, no, no way. In fact, I'm willing to bet two pints of shires and two beef pies that we are going to thrash you. Oh, 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 which reminds me, did you and Ruth ever place your bets on whether it'll be Pip or Josh who takes on the farm? Remember you were talking about it at Vince's party. What's to stop them both taking it on? Farm it together. It's been done before. Oh, I don't know. I mean, they're just about being civil to each other this week because they don't want to stress us out. But in the long term, they'd never get any farming done if they had to work together. This will squabble like toddlers. <laughs> <laughs> the carving aid will help pull the leg. So, Josh, I need you to ratchet it until I say when. OK. A bit more. Yeah, a few more clicks. All right, stop. That's perfect. Now, keep hold of it, and I'll manipulate the hip back in. Okay. Ready? Yeah. 
Oh. Did you feel it? Was that it? That was amazing. I heard it from here. Well, it might be an hour or two till the sedative wears off and she can stand, but so far so good. Thank you, Alistair. No problem. I just hope the calf's okay. What do I do with this now? Uh, take all the tension off it. And we check the limb. Make sure it's moving normally. You have a go, Pip. Feel that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh. Kenton, I've absolutely no idea what it is. Is it finished? Oh, I'd have thought it was pretty obvious. <laughs> is it a trombone? No. Well, it looks like a trombone. He's not on your team, Shula. Don't help him. Oh, don't worry, I'm beyond help. <laughs> right, you have ten seconds, David, or the women win. Oh, all right. Come on. Is it an oil lamp? No! <laughs> right, no more guesses. Well, what is it? <laughs> it's a horse, obviously. What? A horse? <laughs> horse has one leg and a light bulb. <laughs> That's its head! <laughs> we win, Sheila, we win. <laughs> we are the champions. <laughs> we <laughs> are the champions. <laughs> Sisters <laughs> beat brothers. Oh, hey, hey. Come on, girls. Yeah, it's only a bit of fun. <laughs> yeah, it's hilarious. <laughs> you should do it for your Valentine's night, Kenton. You'd soon have some warring couples. <laughs> uh -huh. Thanks for this, all of you. This is just what I need it. And the night is still young. Who's for another game? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. That's the anti-inflammatory injection done. Now we need to get her back on her belly. We leave her like this on her side, she might get bloat. Right. Ready. Josh, you take her head. Okay. Use the halter to pull her round. And Pip, we both need to push her back. OK, go for it. Yeah. Great. Uh, and now, shift the bale. Pull it over and we can use it to prop her up. Will she get up by herself? Yeah, she should do. Once the drugs have worn off, she'll be feeling sore, so you'll need to keep her on her own for a few days in an area with plenty of bedding. No problem. We can use one of the carving pens. And keep a close eye on her. It's all looking promising, but just watch out in case that hip pops out again. Yeah. Fingers crossed she doesn't carve in the next few days. Thanks, Alistair. You've been heroic. And you've really earned a stiff drink. Shall we all go in and tell Mum and Dad the news? 